FedRAMP is the government's attempt to help reduce the amount of duplication of work that they are doing amongst different agencies. So uh, prior to FedRAMP, the, each agency you want to use an application uh, would have to go through all the security controls from the ground up through the entire stack of security controls agency by agency, even though agency A may be using the exact same application that agency B is using. So the government, in an attempt to increase efficiencies, has created FedRAMP so that if agency A goes through all those security controls, then agency B would be able to leverage the work that agency A did uh, in order to, to not have to go back all the way through that again. It could be that agency B may have some additional controls, but at least they can leverage the baseline uh, work that agency A did in order to not have to go all the way back through that same process again. So that's the basic down and dirty on what FedRAMP is. For Amazon Web Services, it is a huge victory, if you will, uh, for them to be able to achieve the FedRAMP certification. A couple things that, that make it uh, outstanding. One is the fact that the FedRAMP certification achieved by Amazon Web Services was issued by an agency. So Health and Human Services uh, went through the stack of security control step by step with Amazon to, to create the FedRAMP certification for their cloud platform as a whole. Um, so that, that is a, that's a huge victory because this is the first FedRAMP ATO issued by an agency uh, outside, if you will, uh, the third party uh, intervention or third party assistance, I guess, uh, that a lot of, of other uh, vendors are using so that there's a, there's a third party assessment uh, office, if you will, they're, they're individual uh, private companies that come in and do the security control assessment. This is the first time the government has done that assessment internally through an agency and issued an ATO. And for Amazon Web Services, that lends a lot of credibility to the FedRAMP ATO that some agencies may or may not uh, ascribe to an ATO provided by a commercial entity. The entire Amazon Web Services Infrastructure as a Service platform is covered under this uh, FedRAMP ATO. So Health and Human Services, uh, in essence, has gone through with Amazon uh, directly hand in hand and vetted each and every service that they have, gone through the security controls and verified that the controls that Amazon Web Services had in place for each service uh, met the government standards to the point that Health and Human Services was willing to sign off and say, as an agency, we will certify uh, through the Fed, FedRAMP process that all services uh, meet our security requirements. Yes, GovCloud is included under the ATO. Uh, Amazon Web Services uses the same security controls for all their regions uh, in the U.S. and worldwide. However, the, uh, the FedRAMP ATO obviously only covers uh, U.S. regions, so U.S. East, West California, and, and West Oregon are included in there as well as GovCloud. So um, basically the, the entire FedRAMP process allows the government to, in essence, accept or reject uh, the security work that was done by Health and Human Services underneath the uh, FedRAMP platform. So if an agency wants to take a look at the, the diligence uh, under the security controls that Health and Human Services did, uh, they can either choose to accept that, um, reject it in whole, or accept it and add additional controls, at which point they would then have to vet those additional controls themselves if they had additional requirements. But any agency within the federal government can utilize uh, this ATO for Amazon Web Services to meet their security control requirements. So DLT Solutions works closely with our government customers to leverage the FedRAMP ATO that Amazon Web Services has. In essence, it streamlines the path to procurement uh, that Amazon Web Services and DLT have worked together to create. And it really makes it much simpler from the security stance for a government agency to now access Amazon Web Services full portfolio of products.